Hi there and welcome to another repotting video. Today I'm going to repot my Neo Phoenicia falcata, which you see here, which has stopped blooming. And I plan on pulling it out of this unsightly plastic pot and put it into a nice wooden basket. So I would like to invite you to follow me along and please like and subscribe. That would make me really happy and encourage me making more videos like this. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So let's take a look at the roots first. As you can see, they are a bit dehydrated. I haven't watered it in about a week because I hope that the roots are easier to remove then but they are more brittle when they are not dehydrated. So I don't know if it's a smart idea to keep them dry or not. But anyway, we're going to give it a try now. I don't think that I want to reuse the basket, to be honest. It's just not my type of basket, but maybe if I remove things like that, it's still usable, doesn't take away much of its abilities. Maybe it even adds to the aeration of roots in such a setup. I just clip some of these little windows. Luckily, the plastic is really thin. It has been a beautiful setup. When the roots are in active growth mode, it does look nice, but I prefer wooden baskets. And I've had this little wooden basket for so long, I think for over 10 years. It was one of my very first wooden baskets, but I have never had a plant. I could use it for and now I think I do have the right plant. So I think what I will do is remove the hanger. If you are interested in this type of hanger, it's just a wire that is bent like this. The hook here, this is one end, then it's the arc, then this way, all the way around until here, and then it's attached. So I will remove it. This is some serious wire, I think three millimeters in diameter. Here we are. Here's the plant. Let's take a look inside. You can see I haven't removed the residues of the flowers because they are still fragrant. And inside there's quite a lot of roots and one spike left that I have to be careful not to damage. And I'm going to try to pull and see what happens, if something happens. I think there's some roots that I can just pull through, like so. It's nice to see that they can be pulled through the basket that easily. It does need some patience, but not very much strength. That's nice. I thought it would be rough, but it's going quite smoothly. Oh, here we go. Some nice pieces of bark are falling out of the pot. 
They are still nice and firm. It has started growing root tips, but then it has stopped again. When it started flowering, I was quite nervous, but now I'm positive that it's going to be fine. It will stress the roots to some extent because they are bent, some will be damaged, but it's still less than I thought. So we're approaching the end and it's going to be the first time I see this plant. Properly. We are very close. Only a few tips are left. So I think this was it. This was what was stuck inside, but this root is not ultra critical. Yeah, that's it. Do you see this? It's a bunch of roots and you can see that it's quite an old plant. It has lost a couple of leaves, but I don't think this is due to any disease, but rather dehydration or just rejuvenation. Yeah, I will clean it up now. I will remove the dead roots from the center and show you what we are left with in a couple of minutes and I think since these chips these bark chips are so nice still I will reuse them So here we are, I've removed the dead roots, there weren't all too many, most seem to be alive, but now I'm going to soak them prior to putting them into the basket and I'm going to see some more dead roots when they are wet, they're going to show up brownish or so, but it's going to be interesting, I think most of them. Oh, okay. It's such a great plant. And now it's a bit cleaner. I've lost the old spikes and blooms in the process, so I'm not going to be able to smell them. It's fascinating that they are still smelling nice. So here we are again. Maybe we will have to remove some of the yellowing ones. Let's take a look. There wouldn't be space for any pieces of bark, that's for sure. In the meantime, I have cut my finger, so I'm going to have to use some gloves when handling this wet plant. And I think I'm going to do it quickly and call it a day. So, the roots have become nice and flexible, I think. And I am trying to free the leaves, bend the roots down like so. And now I'm pushing it into the basket. In we go. In case the roots die in a couple of weeks. Sometimes they react negatively. I can chop them up easily because I can easily access them nice and tight. And I think it's a beautiful new look, isn't it? 
and now I need a little hanger for it and I'm ready for hanging it back up. And now let's take a look at the plant five and a half weeks later. What I would like to show you is the state of the roots and there's some fresh root tips emerging from older roots. I hope you can see them, it's already getting dark outside, but also from the stem. But there's also some roots that have died. As you can see, the ones that are shriveled up. And if I had shown you the plant two weeks earlier, nothing would have happened. It's only now that the plant is starting growing new root tips. But I hope you are able to see. But it's a sign that the plant is doing fine. There's also some fresh leaves. And I think it has been a success, but I'm thinking about removing the plant from the basket once again, removing the dead roots and placing it back into the basket. It's easier to see the difference of dead and alive roots when the roots are wet. There's green roots, fresh tips and dead roots in the center. I hope you enjoyed this repotting video. Let me know how your summer is going. Mine is quite rainy. Happy growing to all of you. Bye bye.